Graphite is a form of carbon and is the main component of the core or lead in modern pencils along with a binder like clay. The European scale was coined by Koinur Hardmuth in the Czech Republic. The company's founder, Joseph Hardmuth, invented a way to combine powdered graphite with clay and form it into sticks to go inside the pencil. By varying the mixture of clay and graphite, it was discovered that you could change how dark or light a mark would be. Trivia Even though we often call the pencil core lead, real lead was never used as a writing material. The pencil core is actually called the lead because for a long time, graphite was thought to be a type of lead. Again, let us recall what H and B mean in pencil. The letter H is used to indicate the hardness of a pencil's mark. The letter B is used to indicate the blackness of a pencil's mark. A darker mark means a softer lead. The letter F is used to indicate that the pencil lead is a special formulation that will maintain a fine point. A B grade means the core has more graphite and will make a bolder, darker line and also be a little smudgier than a light pencil. An H grade means the core has more clay and will make a lighter, finer line and will be less smudgy than a dark pencil. Harder pencils such as 2H to 6H are great for very light sketching. By knowing the different graphite scale, this will help you to shade your drawing better and for you to achieve dimensions. The number on the pencil is important especially when we draw and sketch. This will help us to achieve the proper shading to make our drawing look realistic or to achieve three-dimensional effect. We also have to apply the proper lighting and shading. That's why, let us learn the technique of chiaroscuro. Chiaroscuro, from Italian chiaro, which means light, and scuro, which means dark, it is a technique employed in the visual art to represent light and shadows as they define three-dimensional objects. By using chiaroscuro technique, we can able to identify where the light is coming from to determine where to place the shadow of the object and to maintain the transition of light as we do the shade. This time, let's learn the different types of shading techniques to help us in our drawing. Take note that you may also use ball pen and markers in applying these shading techniques. Let's be familiar with them one by one. We have stippling, cross-hatching, hatching, blending, and scribbling. Hatching are can be applied by creating dark value shades by application of parallel lines. The closer the lines together, the more even resulting shades. Cross hatching. These are done by creating shades through a series of intersecting lines. The intersecting lines crisscross each other at various angles. The lines can be straight, scribbled, or circular. The closer the lines together makes the shade darker. The more it is loose to each other or how lines are spread, it becomes lighter. Stippling, also known as pointillism, is by creating shades through series of dots. Building up more dots closer together results in darker shading. B 
blending. It is creating shades by smudging the applied shade. This is done by pressing and spreading the applied graphite with your finger, a soft lot, or a stump. Scribbling or scumbling is a technique that is done quickly or with marks randomly. We also have circular scribbling. Here are the shading techniques that you can apply when you make a sketch or a drawing. We have hatching, cross hatching, blending, stippling, scribbling, or scumbling. Here are other materials that you may use in sketching. Tortillon, or also known as shading stump, is used to spread the graphite particularly on narrow areas and coming from the outline. This helps to achieve a smooth blending on your drawing. Kneadable eraser is used to erase or lift off excess graphite on your drawing. This is also used for making highlights on your drawing. But take note that it is still better to use regular eraser if you wish to erase a bigger part of on your drawing. Here are the basic process on how to outline and shade your drawing. Step 1. Sketch the basic outlines. Step 2. Start to shade. Step 3. Continue shading. Step 4. Build dimensions. And step 5, finalize your work. Let us practice the different shading techniques using your graded pencils. For our activity, Shading table, the different shading techniques. Show the different types of shading techniques using the graded pencils. Follow the examples and procedures. Make your own table. Use your 6B pencil on the darker part, 2B for medium shade, and HB as for the lighter shade. Divide the table with 7 columns and 5 rows. You can follow your own measurement. Indicate each shading techniques. Please accomplish your activity until October 2 and send it in genuine. Feel free to leave a message if you have concerns.